guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we're going to be taking a look at beetroot juice. Now, unless you've been hiding under a rock, you've probably heard about beetroot juice and how it improves your performance. There's a lot of research out there showing that beetroot juice improves performance quite significantly. Uh, it's been shown to improve time to exhaustion, so your endurance, how long you can go. But it's also been shown, probably more importantly and more effectively, to improve time trial performance. It improves O2 kinetics or oxygen kinetics. This is the delivery of oxygen to your muscles. And while it's not uh, performance related, but a very important health effect of beetroot juice consumption is it decreases blood pressure. And it does all these things, and all these things happen probably through one mechanism. Now, I don't really want to spend too much time looking at the research today, but I want to have a look at how beetroot juice actually does these things. How does it improve these uh, performance parameters and also for health? So, in beetroot, the thing that we're interested in is the nitrate. Okay, In beetroot, there's a lot of nitrate, and nitrate is also available in a lot of other vegetables as well. And next week, we'll have a think about and a look at some of those. So, nitrate is the raw product required to make nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is one of your body's main vasodilators. Now, a vasodilator makes your blood vessels relax and dilate so they become bigger. So what happens is the more nitrate you have consumed, the more nitric oxide can be produced. Now in your artery, in your blood vessels, out around the outside of your artery is smooth muscle. And this muscle either contracts to make your blood vessels narrower or relaxes to make them wider. And how they relax is nitric oxide stimulates it and that causes it to dilate and open up. And if you've got more blood vessels wider, more open, what's going to happen is when you're exercising, more blood is going to be able to perfuse the muscle, so you get more oxygen going to the muscle, the oxygen is more effectively or more efficiently being able to get to the muscle. You're also to take more nutrients to your muscles and also more blood going to the muscle means more blood going away from the muscle as well, so you can take away any byproducts or waste products of exercise. Also, when we've got more of our blood vessels dilated or open, our blood pressure is going to drop. It's just like if you're in the shower and someone goes around the house and turns all the taps on, the pressure in the shower drops. Same thing happens with our blood vessels. You open up more blood vessels, the overall pressure of the system drops. So, there you have how beetroot juice is actually improving your performance. More nitrate in your system, so more nitrate is available to produce nitric oxide. More nitric oxide means more vasodilatory capacity, so your smooth, mu smooth muscle around the arteries relaxes, your arteries vasodilate, get bigger, more blood is able to throw, flow through the artery to your muscles and also reduces your blood pressure, what's very important for health. So there you have it, beetroot juice and the mechanism from how it works. Now next week we're going to take a look at potentially the best way to take beetroot juice for your performance and also other foods that may contain nitrate that you could use instead of beetroot juice. There we have it team, get out there. Train harder and smarter.